Nalongo Harriet Nachibule, a resident of Ngoma village in Mukono district, got married to Sam Lutalo in 1992. In October 2008, Lutalo died, leaving her and seven children. According to Nachibule, her in-laws made attempts to throw her out of her husband's house. One of her sons, the rightful heir of his father, was allegedly denied the opportunity to succeed him. They believed that if my son had succeeded his father, I would not have left. Nachibule says that her in-laws often threatened her and part of her garden was cleared to the ground. Lutalu was a farmer. And before his death, several people owed him money. But when he passed away, the debts were allegedly paid to her in-laws who did not deliver it to her. Nachibule says the authorities did nothing to help her either. The events in Nachibule's life echo exactly the findings of the report by International Justice Mission, an organization which protects the disadvantaged from violence that was launched at Protea Hotel in Kampala. The report shows that widows are more prone to land and property grabbing injustices. They leave in fear. They leave their homes, they give up their land because they fear violence. The statistics in the report show that land grabbing has left over 75% of widows homeless and in poverty. Eight counties in Mukono district were used as samples and more than 1,500 widows were interviewed. Most of them confessed that they never reported the instance to police. They thought it was a normal part of losing their husband. They thought it was normal. They didn't know that Uganda has a law governing inheritance. The findings reveal that only two widows out of ten report to police, while only 7% of the cases reach court. Corruption and slow deliverance of services have also been blamed for delayed justice. This report is an opportunity for all of us who are accused of that to stand up and be counted and ensure that justice is not just for the rich, but justice is for all. Related findings recommend that Uganda needs to strengthen its laws to also protect vulnerable widows and orphans. The police and judiciary say they are working, but the report showed that many acknowledge that they still lack information and adequate education concerning land and property grabbing. Solomon Kawesa, NTV.